Hello everyone. In today's video, we will run again SDXL Base 1.0 in Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111. But this time with SDVAE settings enabled. In our last video regarding this topic, we set the SDVAE to none. Because we always get a bad image like this, every time we choose this. However, in the last few days, SDXL VAE has been released. Alright, without further ado, let's dive right in and generate an incredible image. But before we begin this exciting process, I kindly remind you to hit that subscribe button. By subscribing, you'll stay up to date with our latest content and support us in bringing more amazing creations to you. First, let's download the SDXL VAE from the Hugging Face website. I have placed the link in the description section below. In the Hugging Face website. If you can't find the file here, simply go to the search section and type SDXLVAE. Then, navigate to the Files and Versions section and scroll down. Click on the small download arrow here to start the download. By the way guys, I assume that you already have an account to be able to download the file. If you don't have one yet, kindly create an account. It's easy, just follow the instructions. Now that we have the file, let's copy or cut it. In the automatic 1111 folder, go to the VAE folder subdirectory and paste the file there. Let's run the UI. In the Stable Diffusion Checkpoints section, let's choose SDXL Base 1.0. Then, in the SDVAE section, let's set it to SDXL VAE. I already prepared a simple prompt. I will just copy it here. Then, at the negative prompt, let's type a simple one. Leave the other settings as default. Let's set the height and width to 512 first for faster generation, just to test if we could get a bad output. Then we will set it to 1024 later if we succeed in generating an image. Great! We didn't get a bad result. Now let's generate again and set the size to 1024 by 1024. Let's see what image we can generate. Let's use the same prompt and leave all other settings as they are. Wow! The image looks fantastic. SDXL produces even better results in 1024 resolution. Now, with SDXL VAE settings, we can generate even more impressive images. Let's try experimenting more image generation with SDXL Base 1.0 and also attempt image generation using the SDXL Refiner. The vibrant colors and the astonishing level of detail truly make this image stand out. It's a feast for the eyes. Okay guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and feel inspired to create more images with SDXL Base 1.0 and SDXL VAE. Please don't forget to subscribe and support my channel. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.